You want to book more business? Well, let's talk about how to build a brand that is going to help you book more business. In my article this month, we talk about how to use your brand to stand out from the crowd. And it's not as hard as you think. And first of all, let's start with one simple fact. You are the brand. You are a sole proprietor in many cases. We're not a Nike, we're not a Starbucks, and even then the CEOs of those companies are part of the brand. But in this case, if you're a sole proprietor, it doesn't matter if you're a baker, a florist, a photographer, you are the brand. Who you are, the way you carry yourself, uh, where you shop, the clothes you wear, the car you drive, I'm sorry to break it to all of you, but these things matter. We live in a very superficial world. I uh, Guess what, news, news flash here, People are coming to you for pictures because they want to see themselves and look at themselves. So there's a little bit of vanity in all that, right? These things matter. And if you keep denying it, you're just isolating yourself and refusing to accept the world that we live in. For me, I wanna be successful. I wanna be a successful business owner and I'm gonna embrace it. I know that my bride, the high-end luxury bride, that's who I'm going after, or even that mid-level bride who aspires to be that high-end luxury person, they, they notice these things, they know brands, they're being hit over the head with brands all the time. Pinterest, Facebook, television commercials, magazine ads, brand, 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 it's hammering them over the head. You have to learn how to embrace this with yourself. And so understand that at all times you represent your brand and these things matter, invest in it. Second, we've got to build a luxury brand. Look. If you want to be that photographer that is uh, doing shoot and burning and doing Groupons and working for $69, I don't understand why, by the way, but if that's who you want to be, stop watching right now because uh, everything I'm going to say is just going to enrage you and you're going to conv be convinced you know better. But the reality is you can't make money that way. You will be a hobbyist for the rest of your life. I don't want to be a hobbyist. I want to be able to retire someday. I want to be able to uh, buy the cars I want. I want to be able to eat at the restaurants I want. I want to be able to do things in life uh, that take money, right? So for those of you out there who say, well, money's not everything. I got news for you. Poverty sucks. It just blows. I want no part of it. Uh, I'm working hard, as I assume many of you are, is because you want to get ahead in life. And so we have got to build a luxury brand, a brand that people lust after. How do you do that? Well, you're not going to do it by cr doing Groupons. You're not going to do it by shooting and burning. What you're going to have to do is find a way to stand out from the crowd, which is something else we're going to talk about here. So let's kind of mash this into one. In order to stand out from the crowd, people have to look at your brand, look at the images you're creating, okay, and lust after them, want them, and feel like they have to have them. The minute they feel like they have to have them, money uh, kind of goes to the side, right? Because now you're not a commodity product. Toilet paper, by the way, is a commodity product. You, our photography should not be. I don't want to. I don't want to equate my photography to toilet paper. Uh, so instead, I want to think of my my photography as Louis Vuitton, Mercedes Benz, Audi. Pick your luxury brand. Okay, those things. When you want them and lust after them, you realize you're going to spend money for them, and that's what we've been able to do. So you've got to start doing things that allow you to do that. Okay, you're, hey Sal, that sounds amazing. How the hell do we do it? Well. The first way you do it is by offering product and service that stands out from, from your competitors. What do we do? Somebody books a wedding in one of our top packages, I send them a bottle of wine as a thank you, okay? I send a handwritten thank you note uh, to every wedding after the wedding. These are things that don't necessarily cost me a lot of money, but they allow my brand to be more of a luxury style brand. Uh, the products we offer, I don't offer them a thumb drive, I offer them a nice wedding album, product that I'm putting in their hands. And even when we do deliver digital files, which our clients do get as part of their packages, they're delivered in a packaged and branded box from Photo Flash Drive. So we're doing things that allow our, our work in studio to stand out uh, and, and create that lust uh, for our client base. Think about it. Our studio, Salvatore Sincata Photography, is based in O'Fallon, Illinois, St. Louis metro area. We're not in New York, we're not in Chicago, we're not in LA, yet our clients spend 10,000 or more on wedding photography. How are we able to do that in this mid-market? It's because we have created a luxury brand and people want high-end. Stop convincing yourself that they don't. All right, next, embrace your strengths. What is it you're good at? We're all good at different things. Okay, now I don't know what you're good at, but step back and start writing down some things that you are in fact good at. And if you can't come up with a list of things you're good at, you need to get back to the drawing board, okay? Because you've got a long road ahead of you. So what are you good at? You know, when I think about what we're good at, right? I got three things right off the top of my head. Turn time. Our clients are gonna see their images in two weeks. That's huge. Uh, the only time a client won't see them in two weeks is if we can't get scheduled with them. 
Their images are ready in two weeks. And I bring that to their attention right at the uh, forefront, right at that initial meeting. So you've got to embrace what you're good at. Uh, number two, big dramatic portraits. Look, if you guys look at my work and my portfolio, you know that's my style of photography. Big dramatic portraits. I'm not trying to be everything to everyone. It's a losing proposition. Instead, what I want to do is be good at what I do, define my niche, define my style, and let those clients who are looking for that find me. Uh, and then finally, personality. I got plenty of it. Uh, and we embrace that with our clients. So they know when they're coming to our studio that they're going to get high energy all the time. I'm not going to be a fly on the wall. I am going to engage with them. I am going to pose them. I am going to grab their arm. Uh, I am going to make them look right. That's what I do. And they, that's what they look for. But you've got to figure out what your strengths are uh, and embrace those so that your clients understand what they're getting and highlight and tout those strengths that are yours because that's going to be the differentiator between you and your competitors. And finally, create an experience for your clients. That's the one thing you've got to do. You've got to realize that what we are selling is not just a picture. We're not just selling a single image. We are selling an experience to our clients. When they come to us, they want to have fun on their photo shoots. They want to look beautiful in their pictures. They want those to be polished. They want that bottle of wine, that thank you gift, that thank you note. All of those things, the energy level you bring to the shoot, all of those things bring what I call an incredible experience to your clients. And when you do that, your brand will grow tenfold and become bigger than you had ever thought possible. Guys, I'm proof of that. This is how our studio has been built uh, and we embrace it every single day. This is what we are good at and I promise you if you go out there, practice it and work on it every single day, you too will become good at building an incredible brand that will grow your business. Share this video with anybody who's a, uh, a small business owner. This will resonate with them. This is not just about photography. All right, if you enjoy this video and want to learn more about photography, be sure to visit BehindTheShutter.com where we've got hundreds upon hundreds of articles uh, all about photography and the business of photography. Enjoy.